So hey you guys, this is Glamazante and I'm back with another video. Also, excuse my voice, it does sound a little raspy. <laughs> so today's video is going to be sponsored by Her Given Hair. You guys, they sent me this bomb wig. It's a True Fragrance Curls unit. It came with this super nice box as well as super well packaging. I always love Her Given Hair's packaging though. Now this wig is a Burmese curly wig. It's 18 inches as well as a lace frontal. It is 13 by six. So y'all know we love that because we love a lot of parting space at the top of the wig. Also to put the wig on today, I'm gonna to be using these super thin wig caps that I actually got off Amazon. So if you guys are interested, you can click the link below in the bio and purchase those as well. Now first thing starting off, y'all know I'm gonna go ahead and do my famous ball cap method child this is what eats the girls up and even though this wig is going to be like a bang yang i still like to do the ball cap because i feel like it helps the wig to just look a lot more natural even with like the bang being super wispy you can see through it and also see scalp like one thing about it we want the wig to give realistic so even though you feel like it's a bang in it you don't have to do the ball cap i highly suggest doing it anyway and also the glue I'm gonna be using today is Bow Hold. Y'all know it's like my favorite glue. Now with this wig, I do wanna keep it on for a little while and also wanna do a couple different styles with it. So I am gonna do um, two to three different coats of layers of glue just so that the wig is super tight on my head and it stays and doesn't move out of place at all. Now, when doing these coats, I'm going to do them super thin. I'm not going to do thick ones at all because I noticed that less is more. And I honestly seen that it helps the glue to dry a lot clearer. So that way, when you do do multiple layers, it isn't like it's really gunky and thick. But I ain't going to hold you, honey. My base, I'm super happy about it. And one thing y'all know is sometimes when I do the ball cap, like it can be messed up. But I will show y'all on camera. All I do is put a little glue on and have the rat tail comb pushing it forward. And that's just making it be a lot more flat, a lot more seamless and blend in. So don't think you messed up a ball cap, honey, and start all the way over. Sometimes all you got to do is put a little extra glue and have it moving forward with the rat tail comb just to position it in the way that you want it. Now, as I told you guys, I ended up getting this True Fragrance Curl Unit. It does have a bang. Um, the wig also came pre-plugged, so y'all know I was loving that child. And I also did get a little bit of the tan spray onto the wig, but I wasn't worried about that because this is a curly wig, so it's going to be super easy to just blend it and wipe it off. When I had my straight units, that's when I tried to take a brush and put the color on the lace. But with curly units, I just spray it through the lace and it doesn't matter. I'll just put it on. Now, I'm just going to actually make sure that the hairline is aligning where I want it to be. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry that. I did not want to put on the elastic band that they sent me just because it'll help. It was going to lay the hair the opposite way. And ultimately, we need the hair to go forward because it's a bang. So that's why I used the clips and I tried to not tie it down if I could. And like I said, with this lace, honey, it gave 13 by 6. So y'all know I had to cut out my little ear tabs just so I fit my hair head perfectly but one thing about it i love when a wig is a little bit bigger because it gives you that space to play around with the shape and also make sure that it fits on your hair properly now these is the curls pretty much how they came out the pack they're super pretty and nice and bouncy because this hair texture is burmese curly so you know the girls was loving it but i do want to juice it up just a little bit and give it a little bit more of a defined look as well as shaping the hair with my mousse and my um rice water that i got from Mio. so i'm just gonna go through piece by piece and kind of work with it and take my time i don't rush this process at all at, I don't rush this process at all and sometimes I actually like to even drench the hair so y'all gonna see me put it on in various spots just putting the rice water on as well as using my mousse my foaming stuff like it's gonna help bring these curls to life and just juice them all the way up so take your time with it honey take your time now with this wig I do want you guys to know it does come in a natural color but if you want to you can pay a little bit extra to get a number one B um, and also 
the wig cap size that I got is a size medium. And if you want to pay a little bit of extra, it's only $9.90, you can get deeply bleached knots. So just keep that in mind with purchasing your wigs on Her Given Hair. They give y'all different options to make sure that the customization is perfect for you. If you guys go on Her Given Hair's website right now, they do have a Mother's Day sale going on. And you can get some percentage off if you use the code LOVEMUM, L-O-V-E-M-U-M. -E and you can get some percentage off your wig even more. Now, as you guys see, I'm going through now and cutting the bang. Now, I didn't want to cut it too short because I hate short bangs. I actually like my bangs in my face. So I just was pulling it a little and then just like forming it. But this hair is super pretty, girl. Like, I loved it. Now, I ain't gonna lie, the style it took me some getting used to just because this was different for me. But after I played around with it a little bit, it started, it started wearing me out. Like, I started liking it. And then another style that I super loved was this, pulling it up into a ponytail with a little scrunchie. And girl, it gave, okay? Very very much so grown woman now this is the third style i'm going to show you guys and it's going to be pretty much like a short bob but not a bob but tapered afro type of vibe so stay tuned for that so with my hair i know i want it in the shape look at this picture i know i want it in this shape but i know it's way down right now because it's wet so let me break it up into sections. So I'm going to put, this is the front half. I'm going to break this up. Girl, I'm nervous. I don't know if I want y'all to see. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back. So that one is going to really fully dry. It's like kind of damp. I'm going to cut it right here. Oh my God. Girl, you like what? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's cut this side, same hair. And the thing with curly hair is you don't want to like pull it because you kind of want it all to be, you don't want to pull it because then it's not going to be the same length as everything else. I can already tell it's kind of lopsided from looking. Is it, is it lopsided? Let's see. It can go a little shorter, for sure. Let's take it. Let's take it to the chin. Oh my god, girl! First things first. I know y'all about to eat me up talking about. Oh my god, girl! You don't have hair scissors. I know. I say that to myself every time I do something. I'm like, girl, you ain't even got no hair scissors. But I mean, because it's curly hair, I don't think it's gonna be. That big of a deal. See, what's helping me is this curly hair. So you, nobody's gonna be able to tell if it's messed up for real. They're gonna just be like, oh, it's cute. Girl, it could be all the way crooked. It ain't gonna matter, cause it's crooked. I mean, cause it's, it's curly. <laughs> I promise you this is going somewhere. I promise it. <laughs> but, it's gonna take me, it might take me a minute to get there, but it's going. I promise you she's going. Girl, this back look like Whitney Houston. At this point, why not? We ain't got nothing to lose and we ain't scared.
Let's see where we at. Girl, like a pig chicken in the back. <laughs> ah! Oh my God.